So um, I will start actually a little bit uh, about the Eclipse Foundation because I'm not sure to what degree people here are uh, familiar with the Eclipse uh, Foundation. So the Eclipse Foundation has been building its reputation for uh, over 15 years. And it is uh, uh, now uh, the largest foundation of the, uh, uh, in Europe, uh, based in Europe. So we're uh, all excited about that. We're truly global. Uh, I'm from Serbia, living in Canada. Uh, Ivar, as, as he communicated, he's, he's uh, from Norway, living in Sweden. And uh, our um, Jakarta sailing ship is, is really touring around the globe. So uh, even though uh, we're uh, firmly based as a company in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in Europe, uh, we are um, uh, making sure that we're uh, gathering the uh, uh, global developer community, and it's a thriving community that is gathered to solve uh, very complex problems uh, and producing high quality code. So uh, as you're seeing see, uh, here on the slide, uh, uh, it is truly a community for open innovation and collaboration. Um, so how things work with the Eclipse Foundation. If you see on this slide, which I uh, particularly like, it is at the bottom layer, uh, there is a, a Eclipse Foundation uh, that is providing uh, the governance framework. And then the collaboration layer that is uh, actually gathering technology producers who are actually creating the technology, uh, the, the roadmap and, 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 and actually the base layer uh, on which the product development is happening and uh, interested parties can be truly competitors on the market. Uh, from there, you know, there is, there is a little bit of a loop happening where, uh, you know, we get the feedback from the market. Um, the technology is producing um, another version, if you will, and then uh, products getting, um, uh, getting enhanced. So, Eclipse Foundation is really providing uh, these uh, core services, which is governance and processes. Um, uh, if you were involved or, or uh, in any of the projects uh, previously with the Eclipse Foundation, you, you, I'm sure you're aware of the, uh, for example, Eclipse Foundation development process. Um, uh, and, and, and then we're providing the um, ecosystem development and marketing services, um, IP management and licensing, as we know in open source, uh, extremely uh, important area. And then the infrastructure, the, the uh, uh, code repositories, bug databases, uh, um, uh, various uh, uh, websites and, and wiki pages and so on. So looking at uh, uh, the numbers uh, of the, uh, for the Eclipse Foundation, it's really, uh, we have over 400 projects, uh, over 330 members, um, not going particularly into uh, all the numbers, but uh, you can see we're a relatively small company, about 40 uh, professional staff. And uh, we have uh, this concept of a working group which is um, like governance uh, structure that gathers um, uh, people interested in the, in the same technology and the same area. One of the working groups as we will see is uh, uh, Jakarta E working group. So um, from the technology perspective, the, the areas we're focusing on, but we're doing far more uh, beyond these, these focus areas. But the areas we are focusing on are um, is uh, cloud native Java, IoT and Edge, automotive and tools. Of course, uh, Jakarta EE is uh, in the area of the uh, cloud uh, native Java, and uh, today we'll be focusing on that. There are other uh, working groups uh, also that are part of the cloud native Java. Uh, one of them, MicroProfile, will uh, briefly just mention it, um, adopt you, and so on. So let's just start from the beginning. Um, 
in in uh, Java EE has has a long history and uh, um, uh, before Eclipse Foundation, it was uh, um, under uh, Oracle uh, stewardship. And actually, um, uh, at uh, uh, fall of 2017, it was announced that a Java EE will be contributed to uh, open source and particularly at the Eclipse Foundation and will continue uh, under uh, Jakarta EE brand. So, of course, for Eclipse Foundation, uh, that was uh, um, uh, fabulous news. Um, and we were uh, for, um, you know, the, 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 the contribution of this size was uh, enormous for the Eclipse Foundation. So, um, uh, right after that, the actually Jakarta E Working Group has been formed. Uh, which is truly uh, uh, industry consortium, as, as the slide says, um, gathered uh, uh, individuals and organizations um, interested in advancing uh, a previous Java E technology. So, what exactly is 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 the group doing? So, uh, not just building the community and extending the community of uh, developers but uh, def the defining and extending the existing processes um, in order to uh, create uh, and enhance uh, existing specifications and approved specifications, um, taking care of Jakarta as a brand, uh, working on the, on the um, technical uh, roadmap and um, uh, coming up with a, with a compatibility program. Um, after a couple of years being in this field, um, uh, I am I'm glad at this point uh, we're we're quite happy with all these areas and how um, uh, the working group is is progressing its work. So, who are actually the members of the uh, um, Jakarta E working group? As you can see um, on this slide, we have uh, various levels of of membership. Um, and uh, uh, I'm sure some of the big names that uh, uh, you will recognize and were, uh, of course, always expecting more and welcoming more members to, uh, who are interested in, in, in Enterprise Java to uh, jump in and, and uh, land a helping hand and be involved in, in the working group and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in the uh, uh, further development of uh, Jakarta E. So um, I think I, I wouldn't exaggerate if I say that this is uh, probably uh, Eva's and mine uh, favorite slide. So um, uh, 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 this is just to um, uh, point you to uh, where you can find uh, uh, information or a starting point to find uh, information about uh, uh, Jakarta E. Of course, this is our website and uh, please uh, 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 have a visit and visit it uh, uh, often. So what exactly is Jakarta E? So Jakarta E is, is actually a set of uh, uh, specifications that um, enables um, <clears throat> Uh, developers uh, around the globe to um, uh, uh, work on the um, uh, enterprise uh, Java uh, applications and, and, and develop them. The uh, uh, open, uh, why we're calling it open specification, uh, let me just see what happened here. Oh, there it is. Because we are um, uh, uh, following the uh, open source uh, specification process, um, uh, slightly different from what used to be in the JCP while we had uh, Java EE. So the approach that we're taking is, uh, um, as mentioned on, on some of the previous slide, and that's the general approach of the Eclipse Foundation, uh, we have to prove it in code uh, that something is worthy of a specification. So therefore, uh, 
uh, we're taking code first approach, uh, which is which is kind of different from what uh, used to be the approach before. It is highly a collaborative process um, where we don't have any special roles uh, for the um, uh, within the the uh, uh, project teams that are working on on particular specifications. Um, for the very first time, both documents and uh, technology compatibility kits are now open source and available for everyone to uh, uh, to look at it and and uh, um, you know participate in in uh, enhancing or or challenging uh, any of those. And um, also, um, we're now looking into having uh, one or more compatible implementations, which is quite different from uh, what we used to have um, in the Java EE uh, world, where there was uh, just one reference implementation. And uh, with Jakarta EE, anyone can do a certification of uh, uh, their, their uh, product. Uh, um, uh, there is, a, you know, it, it is it is completely free, and and everyone can can uh, uh, do it. If there is a um, uh, uh, desire to use the compatibility logo, there is a process that needs to be followed. Uh, but the certification itself is is uh, self driven, uh, provided that uh, the results are publicly available. So how does our Jakarta E specification process look like? So if you look at um, uh, these diagram, and actually if you, um, uh, uh, I will just uh, shade uh, the uh, review uh, points uh, in this uh, in this process. So if you look at those. Uh, um, if you put aside those review uh, points in, in, in the diagram, um, you will see that pretty much this is a regular uh, development process, uh, um, more or less of any project out there. So with the proposal, we, we enter the development phase, um, we're producing milestones, and at some point um, when we're ready, we're producing a version of, 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 a, of a project and uh, get to the final point of uh, creating the, 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 the final um, uh, version. Um, in the world of specifications, we are doing the same uh, thing. Uh, we're, we're just uh, producing the um, uh, specification versions and the final, uh, um, the goal is to, to have the, um, a ratified final specification that uh, is uh, uh, then um, uh, made av uh, available to the public so they can start developing their products. With these review um, boxes and, and, and um, addition of, of the boxes, we're actually um, making sure that we are engaging with the uh, one of the committees on the Jakarta working group that is uh, focused particularly on the um, uh, 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 process of creation the the specifications. It is the um, uh, the specification committee. It has the uh, 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 a task of making sure that during the process, uh, all the steps are taken in consideration and uh, uh, we are following the um, you know, uh, standards that are needed in order to produce the uh, final uh, ratified specification. So uh, we're having here a, a creation review or plan review, depending on whether we're starting the uh, new specification or um, we are uh, uh, doing the another version of a specification. And then um, depending on how long does it take, we'll have the uh, review, um, uh, progress review, and finally, uh, before the final version, uh, we will have the uh, committee going through the release review of any specification. Basically, 
that is the uh, Jakarta E specification process that is a, a specialized uh, or tailored version of the Eclipse Foundation specification process that is used for producing um, other uh, specifications as well. So what exactly is a specification? So um, specification is really um, a specification document, um, application programming interface or API, and a technology compatibility kit uh, that is uh, um, used for uh, verifying that uh, um, a, a compatible uh, uh, implementation is uh, um, uh, or compatible implementation is uh, um, uh, uh, implementing uh, the the uh, APIs and uh, uh, according to the uh, specification document. So only when all these pieces kind of fit together, then we are ready to uh, have the uh, final specification. So mentioning compatible implementations, it is really, um, we have uh, quite a few and I will quickly jump on, instead of presenting the, the um, uh, compatible implementations on the slide, let me just quickly uh, show you our compatible implementations were over the moon with the, the adoption of the, uh, or, or, or not just the adoption of the technology, but also adoption of the uh, 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 um, and willingness to, to make the, the product com Jakarta e compatible. You can see in here that uh, uh, for each of the um, versions, we're presenting the, uh, my, sl my slides are kind of not quite in sync, but uh, that's okay. Oh, there we are. Uh, so oh, you can see here the uh, uh, versions, um, uh, the compa compa compatible products based on a particular version. And as you can imagine, the latest one always uh, um, is, is uh, potentially having uh, um, the least number of uh, uh, compatible products because they're still coming in. Um, but all of the products that claim compatibility are uh, um, available on, on, on this main slide. So going back to, um, to my slide here, if I can, okay. So let's let's just look at uh, what uh, specifications we have out there. So um, here are the uh, uh, specifications of the um, Jakarta EE. Um, we do have two profiles at the moment, uh, and Ivar will. Uh, tell you all about the new profile that is coming in in version 10, uh, but uh, um, the uh, uh, collection of all um, our uh, specification is Jakarta e full platform, and then um, more focused uh, uh, specifications on the uh, producing web applications um, are, are uh, grouped around the uh, Jakarta e web profile. So um, I'll just quickly go and, and uh, um, uh, uh, tell you what we had in um, Jakarta E8. So um, we have uh, the uh, version, couple of versions already produced and Jakarta E8 was our first version. Uh, that was the version where we have uh, <clears throat> opened up the specifications, uh, defined the process, define the uh, uh, licensing uh, branding uh, uh, process that is now fully transparent for everyone, um, uh, define the uh, compatible implementations as opposed to one uh, reference implementation, and make this version deliberately uh, fully uh, compatible with uh, Java E8. The reason we did that is to uh, make sure that everyone can um, very easily transition to uh, from Java E8 
uh, to Jakarta E8. And whoever passed the um, uh, TCK test for Java E8 was able to um, pass the test for Jakarta E8. And immediately, uh, all the applications that were <clears throat> Java E8 uh, uh, um, uh, can seamlessly go into uh, Jakarta E8 and start the transition towards Jakarta E8. So with that release and, and all the work that has been put uh, uh, to enable uh, Jakarta E as fully uh, open source um, uh, uh, project at the Eclipse Foundation, um, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the, the Jakarta E has uh, received the 2019 uh, Duke's Choice um, uh, Award. Uh, which we were um, uh, extremely pleased with as well. Uh, right after that, uh, uh, we had uh, the Jakarta E9 release. And um, <clears throat> while we did have uh, some minor changes for this technology stack, um, the real focus of uh, Jakarta E9 was, uh, as pointed here, to lower entry barriers, um, to enable, uh, to be the base layer for enabling the innovation and provide easy migration. So for each one of them, um, what exactly does that mean? So lower entry uh, barriers. So we, we cleaned up and pruned some of the uh, non, um, uh, some of the specifications that were uh, not really in use which uh, was um, uh, an invitation and an enabler for new uh, 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 implementers and new uh, uh, um, uh, products to come into Arena and, and uh, uh, implement the uh, specifications that are actually being in, in use and not uh, being uh, focused on some of the specifications that are not uh, uh, um, as uh, they're not progressing and, and, and uh, uh, not further developed. <clears throat> In terms of the platform for innovation, so with this uh, base layer, uh, we prepared everything and, and you will see, we also uh, had to make some major changes uh, uh, with regards to the namespace that are being used. So, <clears throat> We wanted to make sure that we provide this platform for everyone as the platform that will enable the innovation and, and full advancement of the platform. And then uh, finally, uh, uh, as, as we were hinting, uh, we had to introduce uh, uh, one major change um, that we called uh, kind of a, a, a big bang uh, approach uh, with uh, the uh, change of the uh, namespace uh, and switching from Java to Jakarta. So um, just to point it out, and, and Eva will talk about this and, and demo it uh, uh, in more detail. So um, uh, the Java namespace had to be changed into the uh, Jakarta namespace. And uh, uh, Jakarta 9 is uh, um, uh, addressing this part. Um, not even, uh, I believe, six months after the nine release, uh, based on the um, input from the community, uh, we uh, wanted to um, uh, respond to uh, the need uh, uh, um, of the community to support uh, and provide support for Java SE 11. Uh, and also the uh, Jakarta E9 is the release that is now um, uh, having its final specifications with uh, multiple uh, uh, compatible implementations. And at the time of the release, you can see uh, all the compatible implementations that, uh, that, that were available. Um, we're also uh, uh, encouraging the individual uh, specifications uh, development. And I have provided here a couple of links uh, if someone is uh, later on interested in looking into, um, <clears throat> into the projects that are dealing with uh, individual specifications. 
um, into the uh, new, uh, um, new specification and new profile. Um, and this is the starting point where you can uh, uh, look for, for the information. So um, as you will see again, uh, Jakarta 10 is well underway and, and, and taking its shape. Uh, Ivar will tell you all about it. Um, and uh, I will just kind of uh, give you uh, uh, our one slide that, give, that, that shows the evolution of the um, uh, Jakarta E so far. So uh, we started with, at the bottom with uh, Java E8. Uh, we then um, uh, moved into the uh, uh, Eclipse Foundation uh, infrastructure with uh, Eclipse Glassfish 5.1. Um, and it was still running on, on Java E8. Then we changed uh, all the code to um, uh, be able to uh, run on the platform, which is Jakarta E8. And certification was uh, checked on the Eclipse uh, 5.1. And then um, uh, we produced the Jakarta E9, uh, uh, introduced the new um, uh, namespace, provided uh, Java, e, uh, Java SE8 support. Um, with the removal of def deprecated specs, um, you see the uh, uh, support for uh, uh, at, at uh, the Jakarta 9.1 version. We provided support for Java SE 11, and first uh, for the first time we have uh, multiple compatible implementations. And now we're um, uh, working on uh, Jakarta 10. Um, uh, a lot of innovation is happening, and uh, we're looking forward for uh, re releasing that one. So um, you may be aware of the um, Jakarta developer survey. Uh, I am um, uh, providing here on this slide uh, a link for the uh, full report. But I will just uh, highlight uh, a couple of uh, key uh, points from the executive summary uh, that we're uh, very pleased about. So um, Java e, uh, with Java e 8 and Jakarta e 8 and, and 9, uh, we're really hitting the 75% uh, uh, of the adoption. Um, we have 48% uh, of respondents telling us that they already migrated to Jakarta e or it's in plans in, in the next little while. And uh, uh, you will see that uh, Jakarta e is emerging uh, on the second place now uh, among the frameworks that are um, uh, uh, in the arena of the uh, Java uh, uh, cloud native applications, um, right after uh, a widely popular spring and spring boot. Um, if we compare how was uh, uh, that percent, how did that percentage look like uh, in the previous year? So uh, we do see an increase uh, with regards to um, Jakarta 9, which of course we're extremely um, uh, pleased about. I just briefly also want to mention the uh, the uh, micro profile uh, uh, as a related to technology and uh, uh, the uh, working group that is uh, addressing the uh, use of uh, um, microservices um, in the enterprise Java development. You can see uh, the uh, specifications uh, that are being used uh, um, in the micro profile. And you can also notice uh, to what degree uh, micro profile is also uh, using the um, specifications of, of uh, Jakarta E. The, the bottom uh, part right there is the, um, uh, are all the Jakarta E specifications. I would also uh, like to invite you to um, attend our live stream event, uh, the one coming up uh, uh, on the December 7th is Jakarta One live stream. Uh, so I provided here links and I think Marcus will also uh, mention 
uh, mention it on the on the in the closing uh, of of this uh, uh, event. Uh, but I want to point out that we also have uh, uh, like uh, language specific events, and we did have a live stream in Russian, in Turkish. Uh, Portuguese and the Spanish one is 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 uh, uh, just coming up, I believe, tomorrow. Um, so, if you would like to hear uh, about Jakarta in in uh, one of your uh, uh, languages, uh, um, I'm sure there are, there are uh, international speakers even uh, um, uh, on on this uh, uh, or speakers uh, with the. Uh, communities uh, in, in, in different countries, even on, on this session. So uh, do get in touch and we can organize a language specific event or uh, please uh, um, uh, pay a, look into the, the live stream in December and uh, take part in that. Just kind of briefly to, to let you know that uh, uh, last year we had uh, uh, quite a few um, uh, attendees and 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 uh, uh, speakers over five events that we had uh, uh, um, during the 2020. So um, this is uh, uh, quite a popular event. Uh, so please uh, please uh, uh, have a look and and uh, uh, take part in it. Okay, this is the specific uh, uh, event uh, uh, on December 8th was uh, last year. And you can see um, this graph here uh, actually uh, uh, is showing, uh, um, you know, where, where in the world people dialed in, which is uh, quite interesting to, to see. So I will just quickly move on because I have a couple of more slides. Uh, I first of all want uh, you all to feel invited to uh, 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 get involved. So uh, please uh, consider becoming a Eclipse Foundation member. Uh, join us uh, uh, in the uh, work of the Jakarta Working Group and uh, help us evolve uh, uh, the. Um, uh, Jakarta uh, EE and cloud native Java and be involved in open source. So um, in the next couple of slides, uh, I will tell you what exactly can you do and, and, and uh, uh, in the open source and how you can um, uh, get more involved uh, on um, uh, individual level if, if uh, you're interested to work uh, in open source. So uh, for any open source project, but now particularly with uh, Jakarta E, um, we need a lot of help with uh, with uh, marketing and promotion. Uh, we had uh, we, we need help with the technical work. So the, it, whether you're going to be working on uh, interest, if you're interested to work on the specifications. Uh, or um, implementations of of uh, the the uh, um, of these specifications on any uh, if you're interested on on doing the uh, any collateral work and and doing the presentations uh, and helping us with uh, uh, the uh, blogging or articles um, uh, we would be extremely happy to um, have you on board. So uh, any type of this work uh, we're, we're welcoming. Um, in order to do that, you, uh, um, uh, I would like to invite you to connect with us. So the, all of these are links to uh, available off of the uh, jakarta.ee website, uh, but uh, here also provided to um, get into um, connect us with a mailing list, participate in our events, or submit your event if you're having an event later on that is uh, uh, talking about uh, 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 Jakarta E or cloud native Java. Uh, let us know about it. Um, uh, you know, you can see all the blog posts. Uh, Jakarta Tech Talk is another way of. Uh, uh, Helping with the uh, um, uh, understanding of Jakarta technology, so uh, please have a look there. 
and then how do you get involved? So um, you actually, uh, uh, all, all you need to do is uh, uh, start contributing. So with that, uh, I have provided here uh, the link to uh, Eclipse uh, contributor agreement. Um, that is pretty much everything that uh, uh, an individual uh, needs to do in order to, to get going. And after um, uh, some guidance and experience, uh, then a contributor will be promoted into uh, a committer um, and, uh, um, you know, will be a part of the uh, uh, particular project committer, uh, com uh, part of the uh, specific uh, uh, project team uh, that is working on a specification or an implementation. You can you can easily uh, subscribe like this. Um, also, uh, here is the uh, way to connect to our YouTube channel. And uh, I'm trying also to leave some time for questions and uh, and the break before uh, Ivan jump uh, Ivar jumps in. And uh, at the very end, I wanna actually thank you all for listening.